Hey guys, I have another quick video tutorial for you. This program is going to be the mod detector and I use it to find duplicates or sometimes you run across custom content that you want to download and it's not labeled that it's for The Sims 4 so maybe it's for The Sims 2 and you don't know it and this program will tell you so you can kind of like weed that stuff out. I'll put the link for the program down in the description below but I've already downloaded it and I just keep it in this folder right here and then you open it up once you downloaded it and you're gonna have all this stuff and you just want to open the application program which is called mod conflict detector exe and then the first time that you use it it's gonna ask you to find your folder your mods folder and so you're just gonna locate that in put it in so that it can pull up all your your uh, custom content at one time so I've already opened it and this is all my custom content and you can go over to the side here and make it a little easier for yourself if you want and if you've broken it down into different folders which I have and I do that sometimes but right now I just have it automatically it just opens everything at one time here so it's a whole list of stuff and these are the different colors over here so if they come up on your on your screen as something that's highlighted then you'll know uh, the light blue is the is a conflict and I don't know if it's always right to be honest sometimes it gives you a false negative but that's up to you if you know the custom content that it's been highlighted saying that it was a a conflict works in your game then I just leave it like I'm not that worried about it but if I'm not sure then I might get rid of it um, it tells you broken files and then like I said the yellow is for Sims 2 or 3 or something that you don't want in there and the dark blue is duplicates which is what I usually use this program for to find duplicates because I download like way too much stuff and a lot of the times I'll just download the same things and so it's good to weed that out so what you do really is like I said you can go to the, sep the separate folders if you want to or you can just scroll down the whole list here and like these ones these are doors arches and they work in my game even though they conflict with each other supposedly if you click it over on the side it'll tell you what exactly that it conflicts with so you can either delete it or you can actually uh, turn it off from being active in your game if you want from here just right click it and you can hit disable and that way it'll stay in your game but it just won't load up which I mean you might as well delete it really in my opinion um, you can click show folder it'll show you where it's at you can delete it that way that's what I usually do because if you delete it straight from here like if you just hit delete from here then it's going to reload the whole uh, program again and it takes a while to load up all your stuff, especially if you have a lot of stuff in there. So I usually don't do it that way. So I'm going to leave those alone because they're fine. And then I'm just going to keep scrolling down. Uh, you could do it that way, or sometimes I'll just grab the bar and I'll go down. Plus, like I said, you want to make sure, like, you can look at it from there. It tells you what kind of mod type it is, and it's a Sims 4. You want to make sure they're all the Sims 4. And then if you go all the way over on the right side, it'll actually tell you the size. And if you have anything that says zero, that might be, that's something you should get rid of. I've not run across that problem yet, but I've heard other people talk about it. And I assume that's something obviously wrong with whatever that custom content is, because it shouldn't be zero in size over here. And like I said, I'm just scrolling down. I always do this, open this program, and I use it right after I've uh, downloaded a buttload of custom content. So uh, before I even open my game, just to check it and see if anything's changed. I do this pretty regularly. I suggest you do it too. Okay, so we're right here. It's been found a duplicate toilet. And like I said, you go over here. This is what I do. I go show in folder. And it'll open it up and then I just right click it and I delete it. 
I mean, it's still gonna show up on here until you reload, but you know you got rid of it, so it's fine. Just keep on scrolling down. You wanna do this with all of the stuff that you have in here. And like I said, you can just grab this and kinda of like pull it down if you want to, but it goes by so fast sometimes. All right, this is Mod Conflict Wall Mounted Toilet. What is it? Okay, it's in a merged package. So I'll get rid of the separate one. Show in folder. Delete. Okay, and we'll keep the merged package. So since it's merged, it probably has other things in here that is from that package too. Sync, show in folder. It'll highlight it for you when you delete it. And you pretty much, you just go through the whole thing like this. Um, usually the only things I run into are the mod conflicts and duplicates. I have accidentally downloaded things from The Sims 2 or The 3 and it'll be yellow like I said and you just automatically get rid of that because there's nothing else you can do with it and if you keep it in your game it'll cause crashes sometimes for you and you don't want that so it's all these little things these little programs that you can use to just help either speed up your game or just make sure it runs better so I hope this helps uh, if you have any other questions please leave them in the comments down below and I'll try to get back to you as, as soon as I can thank you for watching and happy simming